Get the best deal on your auto loan from First Lawrence Bank. Make it easy to get that loan you need. See the professionals at First Lawrence Bank. Loan officers Ben Bradshaw, Linda Evans, Stanley Souls, or Pam Graham for the best deal on a car loan. When you need a car loan, think First Lawrence Bank and make it easy. First Lawrence Bank, Dublin, and Dexter. Hi, everyone. We'd like to welcome you to Real Talk. I'm your host, Pat Terrio, and we are here on the east side in Falcon Country, and it is definitely soccer season. We've got Coach Chris Robinson here himself. How are you, Coach? Great, great. Trying to stay dry. Trying to stay dry. You know, that field is pretty muddy out there. It's very muddy. <laughs> Somebody left the sprinklers on. I think they did. All right, Coach, let's talk about how this season is going, and, and we want you to be specific with some of these girls and, and just want to talk about where you want to take this team now. Well, I'm excited. We've worked hard. We've started in January with conditioning, and we've worked really hard. Uh, we've had a good start to the season. We're three and one. Mm -hmm. uh, we got beat by Savannah Christian, but they're a good soccer team. They're always a good soccer team, and I wanted the girls to experience the private school game because hopefully we'll get an opportunity to play Region Six, mm -hmm. which is private schools all all across uh, out of Double A, and uh, we're excited. Uh, We've got a lot of girls returning. Uh, Amber Oliver's in the goal keep. She's mm -hmm. done a good job. She's a three-year starter. Chelsea Williams is a four-year starter. She's done a good job. And Callie Stinson's a three-year starter. She's done a good job. And all these girls are defensively. Mm -hmm. Baja Harvey is a two-year starter. Is a junior. She's done a good job. And uh, Adriana Robinson, who just came out from basketball, mm -hmm. she's going to help us out defensively. She got her first start against Dublin the other night. So I'm excited about that. And then Aisha Baldwin's helping us in the midfield. She really did a good job for her mm -hmm. first game after basketball season. And she's a four-year starter. And then Kara Evans is back. She was hurt last year, and she's going to be a three-year starter this year at wing. And Ariana Reed, I struggle with her name sometimes. <laughs> That's all right. That's all did right. Did I get it right? Okay. <laughs> Well, Miss Reed, she's done a good job. This is her first year starting at wing. Mm -hmm. And then up top, we've got uh, Julia Watson, who's a three-year starter. She's a junior. Mm -hmm. uh, Hannah Terrio, who's a freshman, who's done a great job up top. And Bree Williams, who's a four-year starter, who's done a great job. So I've got a lot of experience with some young mm -hmm. girls and got a good mixture. You certainly do. And you're talking about three- and four-year starters. And, and, you know, when you talk about a team with depth like that, so even despite the losses from the seniors last year, you guys are still a pretty strong team. I was very fortunate. My first year was four years ago with this group of seniors. Mm -hmm. And I walked into a program that had not done very well, but I got a group of four seniors that, that were freshmen then that have really worked hard and done what I've asked them to do and competed. And they're going for their fourth year as making the playoffs, which is unheard of at East Lawrence. And, and it's all up to them. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not a very good soccer coach. <laughs> But uh, they, they, they work hard and they do a good job. And, you know, and that's nice to see. And, and, you know, when you talk about these girls who've been playing together for quite some time, you know, it takes that, that tight knitting together in order to make a good team. Right. They, they work hard together and, I'm, and they know each other and they've been around. You know, it's funny. I was listening to Chelsea the other day. She didn't know I was listening, but I was listening. Eavesdropping, eavesdropping of course, as we parents and she, do. And she was talking about Julia I always wanted to take it wide and they – they want to take away a wide. Well, that's not what we want to do. We want to force them wide. But she knows what Julia's going to do. Mm -hmm. And that's good because I told them the other day, sometimes when we go against our defense, that's the best look the offense is going to get, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. in games. Well, that's the same way the best offense. Our offense is a lot better than a lot of other teams. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're working hard. We've got some things to improve on, but I like where we're at. And Hopefully we can compete against the Dublins, the Harlems, and right. the Screvins in our region. Absolutely. And, you know, that's so good to hear. You know, the girls are definitely making us proud in this community. Yes. Now, let's talk about some of the things that you're working on. You always want to find out, you know, uh, do an after-action review of how the season was last year. You guys had a great season last year. What things are you working on with these girls uh, to improve upon? Uh, they're already uh, the skills that they have. Well, we work on our touch, and if you've seen us at practice, we're always working on our touch because we can always be better at it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you've got a lot of girls that play other sports, they don't get a lot of time to work on right. their soccer skills. Mm -hmm. So you, some schools this would be basic, but I feel like if you don't have the basics down, 
then you're not going to be good at anything. So we work on the little things so we mm -hmm. can be good at the big things so we can compete in our region. And, you know, the girls have worked hard. They know what we're going to do, and we're not going to change, and we do what we do. Absolutely. And, you know, you're talking about working well on those little things. Those are just the fundamentals right. of the game. Right. And, and the competition you had with Savannah Christian, where I know my daughter came home and talking about how, how good they were and fundamentally sound they were. Right. So when you play a team like that, that really helps you put things in perspective and see where you need to work on some things as individuals for right. a team. Our non-region schedule is, I would put it up against a lot of teams, especially mm -hmm. in our region. Fitzgerald, they haven't lost a game since. They've been beating people's breaks off. And, mm -hmm. and uh, Toombs County is traditionally pretty strong. Right. And, uh, of course, Savannah Christian's really good. And, uh, you know, we went to scrimmage Statesboro, and they're a solid program. So, you know, I, w I want to play good teams because right. I don't want to get to the playoffs and be a shock. Mm -hmm. You know, we did it. We had a great run last year against Cook County, right. Vidalia, and then we ran up against GAC, and I just didn't feel like we had experienced that. Mm -hmm. And I think that comes over mm -hmm. time of playing teams, tough teams, and that's why we're playing the Rutlands, the Southeast mm -hmm. Bullocks, and tough teams like that. And, you know, that's what makes the team better when you do play, uh, play competition that really pushes you to that limit. Right, and I, and I felt like – all four years I've been here, that we've played a tough non-region schedule, so we're prepared when region rolls around. Absolutely. And you've been here four years, so some of these girls have been along with you, Coach. Yes. So would you say that you're good, uh, <clears throat> that you're easy to work with? Oh, I'm <laughs> real laid back, laid back. <laughs> right. Don't yell a lot. Just right. blow with it. <laughs> you know I'm going to ask the girls this, you know, whenever they, I get them – to themselves, They'll right? say the same thing. They'll if say they don't, we'll run. I'll need to check the, <laughs> the interview after it's done. Abs no, absolutely. I push them hard. I make. I want to work hard because I, yeah. I, I want them to be successful. And it's right. not just on the soccer field, but I want to carry over in life. You know, the, a lot of these girls are going to go to college, and, mm -hmm. and they're going to work. They're going to have to work hard, and they're going to deal with people that they don't always jihad right. with, and they're right. going to have to learn to deal with people that are have a personality like mine. So you're just preparing them. Try to. For the real world. Try to. <laughs> and, you know, these girls are great athletes, and, you know, and it's important to be student athletes. How, how do you push them as far as making sure they're academically sound? Well, I don't because I don't have to. Mm -hmm. I've got, you know, if you came to the Beta Club uh, induction last night, half the soccer team's on the Beta Club. Awesome. And uh, I don't have to worry. I do eligibility every year, and I don't have mm -hmm. to worry about it. I check it, and they're, they're all good. So they're I, like, you're good. So they, they got good parents that take care of their grades, and mm -hmm. I, that's one less thing I have to worry about. And, and, you know, as a soccer mom, you're talking about the parents, you know. Of course, when we had a parent meeting, and you gave us the old list of our to-do list. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 want, I want it to be a total program, yeah. and I want mm -hmm. the parents involved, and they are. They do a great job. They, they help out with bringing food and drinks for the games mm -hmm. and help out in the concession stand and you know, they're very helpful, and they come and bring cameras and to practice <laughs> and right. interview us. And, and walking in the mud. That's right. That's, that's right. That's that extra love. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, Coach, we're so pleased with the work that you're doing with the girls, how you're definitely leading by example, and, and we look forward to talking to the girls and then seeing what, you know, what's going on the rest of this season. That's right. All that's right. right. All right. Thank this you. This is Coach Robo, everyone. You know, we're always so pleased to talk to these seniors here, and we've got a senior here Chelsea Williams, how are you, Chelsea? I'm good. How are you? Very well. Now, Chelsea, we know that you are involved in a plethora of things. So let's talk about how your year's been going and the things that you've been involved in. I'm busy. I stay busy. I've worked two jobs earlier this year. I um, always I always have something to do. I'm, I'm active in church. I'm active in my community and a lot of community organizations. And I do a lot of things until soccer season. And then when soccer season gets here... They all have to be put on hold. But, you know, you still wear your crown. Of course. I am Miss Black <laughs> Festival 2015, the reigning queen. All right. Congratulations to you on that. Thank and your parents and your family, tell us about your family. We know they're so supportive of you, and definitely with your busy schedule, you've got to have their backing. I do, I do. My parents are really, really supportive. My dad is the assistant administrator at my high school, and my mom is the secretary at the elementary school on our campus. I have three brothers that I'm really, really close to. So all of my family members are really supportive of me, and I'm really thankful for have, to have them. Now, how has this season been for you with soccer? How's it been for you? 
because this is your, you know, when you think about it, you know, kind of the nostalgia hits you because this is your, your senior year, you know, a lot of things are bittersweet and you are definitely one of the leaders of the team. How has this year been for you? Emotional, exciting, a lot of words describe this season. It, it's nice because it's a, it's a sport that I really love and I love coming out here with these girls that I consider my family, but it, it is bittersweet to know that it's my last year, but it's, it's time to put in work, and we're going to go hard this year and make it a great one. Absolutely. You know, I had the opportunity to watch watch you when you were uh, kind of really motivating the girls, and you kept telling them that they were your why. Explain that to the people out there. Well, Coach Robo always told us that when we come out on this field, we need to have a reason t to do the things, to why we do the things that we do. And so I told the girls that they were the reason that I come out here every day. It isn't just for myself, and it isn't for Coach Robo, but it's for them because I know that it takes more than one person to kick a soccer ball around the field and mm -hmm. to score a goal and win a game. So they're the reason I come out here, and even when I come out here on days that I don't feel good and days that I just plan out don't want to be here, they, they push me, and they're like, Chelsea, we need you, and we feed mm -hmm. off your energy, and I'm like, I feed off your guys. So we together, we're, so, we're our, each other's support system. And that's so important um, for a team. And so when you look back over the years that you've played soccer, Okay. Is there anything different about this year for you? Definitely, definitely this year is different because I'm a top dog. <laughs> I'm a, I mean, I'm a captain now yeah. and coming through the years, I mean, my freshman year was definitely different coming from middle school soccer to high school soccer. It was a huge stepping stone because I was scared. I didn't know what to expect. The girls ran a lot faster for sure. I wasn't expecting that. Right. But um, watching – the girls above me lead our team, gave me a lot of foundation, and they kept telling me, they were like, Chelsea, one day you're going to be in our shoes, and we want you to see how to run things. And so help, it was helpful for them to, to keep pushing us. And so now me being a senior, seeing these young girls be in my, the shoes that I was in mm -hmm. once, it, right. it inspires me a lot to push them and work hard. And, you know, you can see some of yourself, I'm sure, in some of these these young girls. You especially, know, you kind of have to, yeah, have especially to one them, of them. And take them under your wing. My daughter, yeah, I know she for looks sure. just like me. <laughs> So, yeah, I see myself a lot in her. Your baby cousin. My baby cousin. You know, so, you know, as a leader, when you say a top dog, I mean, that's huge. And that's something that these young girls, like you say, when you first start off playing a sport as a freshman, you do have those fears. You do have those insecurities. So what do you do to kind of help those girls to kind of ease that tension, you know, and that nervousness? A lot of the time, Coach Rebo can be a little intimidating. He mm -hmm. does tend to scream a lot. He um, Is it the beard, too, that kind of... Oh, the beard, <laughs> definitely. I guess when they walk out here and see a man that kind of looks like Yeti, they, they kind of want to run and scream. Yeah. So he can be he can be a little um, pushy, and he, he he's really hard on us, and sometimes that that's a little overwhelming for mm -hmm. new girls. So I always like to pull them aside and let them know that he wouldn't ride you as hard if he didn't expect something great out of you. Mm -hmm. So you must be doing something right, and he needs you a lot if he's pushing you that hard. So... That helps them out a lot, mm -hmm. so I feel like it's up to the older girls to help them out a little bit. Excellent advice, excellent advice. So what is in the future for Chelsea Williams? What can we expect in the bright lights of your life? Well, after this soccer season, oh, I don't want to push it so hard. <laughs> after this soccer season, after graduation, I plan to go to Kennesaw State University, and I want to be a political science major, and hopefully one day I'll be a top defense attorney in the nation. Fantastic. Are you going to be playing soccer still? No, I don't think I'm going to be playing soccer. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do, and mm -hmm. I don't want to tell anything just yet. Yeah, but just keep it on the down low. Yeah, I don't know yes. what I'm going to be doing just yet, but just wait for it. Right. Just wait for it. We'll see it. We'll find out what's Definitely. going on with Chelsea. Well, Chelsea, thank you so much. Thank you for what you're doing with these younger girls. Thank you for taking my daughter, of course, under your wing to kind of push them and encourage them. Setting the example is so very important, and we wish you the best thank you. in the near future. This thank is you. Chelsea Williams, everyone. We are here with another senior, Callie Stinson, and also a homecoming queen, or East Lawrence. These beautiful queens are just doing it, aren't they? How are you, Callie? I'm good. A little <laughs> tired, sweaty. But you look fantastic, you know. Thank you. And you're still the queen. Yes, I am. Hail to the queen. <laughs> All right, tell us a little bit about you. You know, we've been through this before. Tell them about yourself, and let's talk about how this season has been for you yes, in the game of soccer. Well, I am a senior at East Lawrence High School. I'm going on my third year of soccer. Um, we were region champs last year, hoping to be um, region champs again this year, back to back. Um, I also do cheerleading. Four years of cheerleading, we won region champs um, 10th grade and then region, 
region runner-up 11th, and then region champs again my senior year. How cool is and that? And then finished 7th <laughs> in state. So it was a very good year into mm -hmm. my senior year cheer, and I'm hoping for the same in soccer. Absolutely, absolutely. You've had a fun year, haven't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> now, let's, before we talk about your soccer, this soccer season, how, what was the experience like for you being crowned? <laughs> Miss oh. East Lawrence, I mean, I, I, what was that experience like? I remember we talked to you earlier just in the, yes, you know, the anticipation of that evening, and you were crowned. Yes, ma What was that experience like? Ooh, and what has changed in your life? So <laughs> many emotions, you know. Um, well, you know, waiting, waiting to be crowned, that was the, that was the nervous part. Right. I mean, of course, who wouldn't want to be crowned homecoming queen right. for a school? And then afterwards, you know, it's... I mean, once you win, you have to go out there and be able to talk to people and let people know, like, you're not just someone, like, that they don't know. You have to make sure you're known around the school, mm -hmm. known and not just some random homecoming queen. Right. Just so, not, you're more than just a pretty face. That's what yes, you like to let them know. I try to get myself uh, known in the school and in the community, mm -hmm. anything I can. That's good. That's good. Yes, now, how has your how has this year been for you, being a senior, and, you know, as we talked with Chelsea, we know there's still a lot of emotions going on there. Yes, ma'am. It's uh, I've loved it actually. I mean, it's very hard, of course. You have to come out here, run, <laughs> get sweaty get and sweaty. disgusting, <laughs> dirty, pouring rain. You have to come Muddy. out here and slide, <laughs> dirty right now. You know, mud everywhere. But um, I've just I always have a mindset. You know, go out there and give it a hundred percent, no mm -hmm. matter like how you feel. Mm -hmm. And being reading champs last year, oh my God, it was such an amazing feeling. Right. Being reading champs in cheer, tears, just tears yeah. coming out of my eyes, and in my senior year. So, I really am striving to be reading champs again this year. Mm -hmm. uh, my number one goal, then playoffs after that. Absolutely. Well, you've just had so many wonderful things happening. Thanks, but you know what that shows, though? That signifies the hard work that you girls have really been putting Thanks, into what you do. Because you don't just wake up and become a region champ. No, ma'am. You work, you work every day. What's your work, work, work ethic like? Because we can tell, here you are, you know, you're talking about, well, I want us to be region champs. I want us to be, you know, what is your work ethic like? Because I'm quite sure that you really are very uh, controlled as far as, you know, and disciplined. Well, um, of course, you have to come out here and work as a team, always. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's hard, you know, getting in arguments with the girls. I mean, we, we butt heads sometimes. Right. It's, as girls We're do. girls, <laughs> yes. We butt heads sometimes. Right. So the, the main focus really is to push through all the drama and all the hurt and all the pain, everything that goes on. And work as a team, honestly. Like, mm -hmm. if you're not one, then you're nothing. Right, right, if right. If you don't work as a team, then what are you working for? Absolutely. And do you find, like, with some of the young girls, um, that you have to pull some of aside to have, like, a little one-on-one -on -one sometimes? Definitely. You know, um, coming up in a, as a senior, you know, you want to goof off sometimes. Even I want to goof off as a senior. Right. You know, joke around, lighten the mood some, but... um. Sometimes, you know, there's time to joke around and there's time to be serious. And right. our coach, he's usually on our tails, you know, be serious, be serious. You want right. to beat all these teams, like you say, then right. you got to. So I'll pull the girls off to the side sometimes, you know, hey, just get a little serious because, I mean, if we want to be back-to-back -back reading champs, it's just mm -hmm. what's got to be done. I mean, it requires that. It requires a level of discipline, you know, and you have to have balance. Yes, ma'am. You have to have balance. And I'm sure as a senior, you've noticed that to where you have matured through the years, yes, you know, as a student, as an athlete, where you see where, you know, to whom much is given, much is required. Yes, ma'am. you really have to work hard. Yeah. Um, starting my seventh grade year, I knew not one thing about soccer <laughs> at all. I remember um, – my coach, she, uh, she's like, all right, Callie, you can pick your team and put them where you think they need to go. So I was like, I didn't want people to know that I knew nothing about soccer. Right. I was just like, so you can go and you can score the ball right. and you just go and kick it. You know, yeah, Chelsea yeah. before me, she had to take control, tell everybody where to go. Right, but. right, right. But you've learned through the years. Yes. You have learned, which is a wonderful thing. So what's, what's up with you after high school? Um. Of course, I plan to graduate, and then I want to attend college here at Middle Georgia, mm -hmm. and then I want to transfer after I finish my core classes to Georgia College in Milledgeville, and then 
undergraduate. Gotta be a, yes, I am. Gotta be orthodontist. How awesome is that? Yes, I am. Perfect, perfect. Well, we're certainly proud of you, and we know your family are proud of you. Yes, you got to mention your parents. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> My mom. She's that mom. The soccer, the cheer mom. She's always there sporting, always in the crowd yelling. Yeah. And, you know, and that's, you need that. Yes, I am. You need that. She pushes me 110 on 24-7, every day. Because, you know, we live our lives vicariously through you guys. Yes, you know that, right? You, yes. You're living our dreams. My, yes. Oh, my that's goodness. To, that's all my you mama wakes up every day. Yes. <laughs> when I went homecoming queen, she's like, you know I'm living this through you, right? Absolutely. 100%. Yes. So, so thank you to your parents. Thank you to you for yes. the work that you're doing. Keep doing great things, okay? Yes, Sam. All right. This is Miss Callie Stinson, everyone. You know, we have had such a wonderful time getting to know the seniors here. We've got Miss Aisha Baldwin with us. Hi, Aisha. Hi. You know, I feel so tall standing next to you. And I don't even have on high heels. I feel good right and now. And I have on cleats. You've got on cleats. So you've got <laughs> <The> extra inches. <laughs> All right, Aisha, you tell us about your family, and let's talk about your experience here um, that you've had with the team. Um, this is my fourth year playing um, soccer, t the soccer with East Lawrence High School, and it has been a great pleasure. Um, we have really progressed from being a small team to being region champs, and it's just an amazing feeling. And it feels great. And how long have you been playing soccer? For four years. So, you you know, did you start playing as a freshman? Like, was that the first time you started playing soccer? Um, I played two years in middle school. Okay, okay. So you've been playing the game for a little while. And so how have you improved over the years? If you kind of look back over your career, how have you, what areas have you improved? Um, I would say I'm starting to actually play the game with, um, play the game with smartness now mm -hmm. and just realizing that um, that there are other ways around beating teams, not mm -hmm. just with skills. Wow, that's right. So you're learning mentally how to play the game. Yes, because you can have the skills, but you have to have some mental toughness. And, and, and that requires a lot of wisdom out there on the field. That's very good. That's very good. Now, um, do you play any other sports or is this, your, is this it for you? I also play softball and basketball. Would you consider soccer your main sport or um, is basketball? Or? I would say they're equally mm -hmm. important because I learned a lot from each sport right. and it kind of the it kind of carries on to the next sport. Mm -hmm. Absolutely because when you're talking about being a well-rounded athlete the principles are still the same even though the games are different. Yes, ma'am. And so you've learned through the years about the, the mental abilities that you need, the smartness. So you say, how do you, when you see the younger girls, how do you help them in that area when they when you see that they need some help in that area? What do you do? Um, I'll, I just try to help them and... I tell them that the, some things that they need to work on if they need help or if they come to me individually and ask for help, I just give them my um, my opinion on the situation mm -hmm. and I ask the coach if what I said was correct. Very good, very good. And so what is it, um, like for your future plans, you know, this is a senior year. You've been here for four years. <laughs> do you get a little? Do you get a little sad when you think about, you know, like, this is one game closer to being my last game playing here for the Falcons. Yes, ma'am. It's absolutely uh, mind-blowing when you think about how life would change after I graduate high school. And it's, like, it's crazy. I can't even explain the feeling. I'm going to miss it. Oh, we've been there. <laughs> we've been there, done that. It's been about 27 years. But we remember when it's getting closer and closer to being your last game, you know, as a senior. And so... Of course, your family, you know, I used to work with your granddaddy in a little bit of grocery store <laughs> back in the day. And we know they're so proud of you. How important do you think it is, in your opinion, to have the support of your family, your friends? How important is that? Oh, it's absolutely important to me because I feel like the only reason why I push so hard in life is because of my family. Mm -hmm. And with their support, I feel like all things are possible. How cool is that? Now, do you have brothers and sisters? I have two sisters. Where are you? Where do you fall in that? The middle child. You're the middle child. <laughs> <laughs> You're the middle child. All right. So, what are your plans after high school? Do you 
have you already decided on the college you plan on attending or do you plan on going to college? Yes, ma'am. I've decided on the college I wanted to attend. So you're keeping it on the wraps? Yes, ma'am. Do you still want to play sports or are you going to kind of ease off the sports? Um, I feel like I'm going to kind of ease off the sports mm -hmm. and pick up another um, hobby of mine. Yeah. And I'm thinking about traveling more. How cool. How cool is that? You're going to be a woman of the world. Yes, ma'am. You know that, a woman of the world. Well, congratulations on everything you're doing. Enjoy the rest of the season. Savor the moments. Keep giving good advice to those girls. Keep encouraging them and keep setting the example for others to follow. Thank All right? You. This is little Aisha Ball with everyone. Thank you. These girls are so amazing. We've got Brianna Williams here herself. How are you doing, Bree? Can I call you Bree? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're very good. All right, Bree, talk to us a little bit about you, and let's talk about you as a leader out here on the field. Well, I'm a senior, and I've been here for four years, or playing high school varsity for four years, mm -hmm. and I just love my team, and they're my whys. This is why, the reason why I play this sport, and everyone, each and every one of these girls, they're just – uh, amazing. Can't even say. <laughs> yeah, they're amazing. Wow. And you know, and and we know it's emotional for you seniors, you know. We've been talking to the other girls and and they themselves have been expressing that. Um as a senior, what's different about you from last year when you played? I think it's just that you have to show leadership from for the underclassmen and mm -hmm. everything and you have to be a role model to them and just show them how to get stuff done right how's that experience been because you know you know us girls mm -hmm. we sometimes hard to deal with kind of with stress, one another <laughs> stressful it's, it's real stressful but it's been a good experience because you say these girls are like your family they're they're your why yeah why is that because i i guess i've been with them for so long mm -hmm. and they're just like my soccer sisters i can yeah. say and so when the season's over how are you going to make it, Bree? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And so, and you know, being a leader out there, that's so very important. And these girls definitely, we know they look up to you. You can tell that they look up to you. Um, what have you learned through the years? You know, you've been playing for quite some time. If you had to give a message out there to some young girl who wants to play soccer, who's just now starting out, you know, that's going to really help her to push her to be a better player, what advice can you give? Just keep going and try your hardest, and Robo will give you a chance to be out there and start varsity, and just keep doing what you're doing and practice. Practice, practice, practice. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times when people want to be good at something, they, they don't realize how, hard, how much work it requires. Yeah, it sure does. And just like I've been doing it for seven, since seventh grade, and mm -hmm. I've learned so much from different people. And, and I'm here now because of practice. Absolutely. You're here. And so what's up for the future for you? What are your plans? I'm planning on going to Middle Georgia and being a physical therapist and helping athletes when they get hurt. What about older athletes who've been hurt? Yeah, that too. Like, Look at that right there. Me. <laughs> you hurt. <laughs> These knees, honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's wonderful. You still want to be able to be around athletes and help athletes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Well, you know what, Bree? We're proud of you. We always enjoy watching you. you out there. You've hustled. You're really fundamentally sound, and it's always a pleasure. Thank you. Nice to see I you as a being, leader. I love being out there. We can tell. <laughs> Just be grinning and stuff. Yep. All right. Well, this has been Bree Williams, everyone. Keep doing great things, girl. Thank you. All right. All right, we've got Adriana Camille Robertson with us. How are you doing, Millie? Fine, how are you? <laughs> Had to throw that in because I think that's so cute. Thanks. All right, let's talk about the work you've been doing out here. Um, you've been out. Here, you've been at it for a while. Two years. Talk to us about it because we know you're, you're involved in other things as well, so why don't you share all that with us? Yes, ma'am. I played softball for four years, basketball for four years, and I played soccer for two. I just came out here last year and... Ever since my first year playing soccer, I've loved it. That is so cool. You know, you're playing triple, triple threat yes. and academically as well. You know it. Yes, I do know it. How has this journey been for you? How has it been for you? For my senior year, I can say it's been, you know, hard. But, mm -hmm. you know, I still push forward even in academic sports wise. And I just try to keep pushing so my younger people that look up to me can say, well, I want to be like her since she did it. I can do it too. 
And, you know, you know, in talking to the seniors, we're really finding out um, as far as what you've learned through the years and what you're able to instill within these younger girls, you know, because they do look up to you. Mm -hmm. They look up to you for advice. They look up to you. If you've got a bad attitude, they have it's going mm, okay, so if Millie's going to be like that, I'm going to be like that too. Mm -hmm. So what do you, what things have you worked on through the years to improve upon, you know, because we always can look at ourselves and say, okay, I need to work on that. Throughout the years, I can say I worked on my attitude the most because mm -hmm. I feel like your attitude is the most contagious. And I feel like I need to have a positive attitude. So when the younger ones come up, they can be like, well, she had a positive attitude. It ain't that bad. I can do it too. Mm -hmm. And like, be respectful. So that's what I've been working on for the past year. And that's good, you know, because you're talking about positive attitude. That's whether you win, lose, or draw, mm -hmm. you know, and especially when it's those close games. Yes close games it's like the pressure is on and it's like it, everyone is is just so tense and it's an intense moment mm -hmm. and so you know the girls have been talking about what their why is or what is your why my why i don't know i ask myself that all the time like what is my why and mm -hmm. i i don't know like let me switch it around so like what motivates you to do what you do my motivation will mainly be my other teammates, mm -hmm. like when I see them getting down, I have to motivate myself mm -hmm. and them right. to keep going in the game and not get frustrated. That's your why, baby. You know, because when you talk about why, why do you do something? Why do I, why do you get up in the morning and think about, okay, this is what I have to do for the day. When you get out on that field, when you tie those cleats up, your motivation is why are you doing it? You're not just going through the motion. Not at all. The motion <laughs> gets boring. Like you have to step outside the box. Absolutely. Absolutely. And what position are you playing? And have you played this position the whole two years that you've been playing? I play stopper. Mm, and you I stop it, don't you? <laughs> you stop it, don't you, Millie? All right. And so what are, what are in the works for you after uh, graduation? After graduation, I plan on attending Albany State University. Boom. That's awesome. And what do you plan on playing a sport there? No, ma'am. I'm just going to focus on my academics. Focus on your academics. You, do you already know what you're going to major in, or are you still undecided? I'm going to get my MSN Master's of Science of Nursing. How cool is that? You can doctor on folks and everything. <laughs> yes. I want Nurse Millie, please. <laughs> Fantastic. We're, yes. we're so proud of you, Millie. We're proud of all the work you're doing academically, how you're representing your family, your school, and all of the sports that you're playing, yes. and being a leader out there on that soccer field. Thank you. I appreciate Keep it. Keep doing you, Millie. I will. All right. This is Millie, everyone.